Ross here from Racetech SDS. I'm just going to do a video here and showing you how to uh, download the software you need for your SDS data logging option. And uh, later in the video, I'll show you how to uh, use the data logging software. So right now, you should have got an email from us. It has a link here for uh, one of the pieces of software you have to download. We're just going to click on that link. This takes us to Silicon Labs website. We're going to scroll down here and we want to choose this file here, download for Windows XP server. It's a 3.66 meg file. I'm going to click on that. I'm going to save the file. File is downloaded here. Click on it. Single click on the file opens here. It's a zip file. We're going to have to extract that, so click on Extract All Files. Next. 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 And here we have the file. And we're going to uh, double click that. And uh, we want to install this here. This is the uh, x86.exe file, and you can uh, double click that. And we want to run this file. Usual, next, accept agreement, next, and finish. It should be installed in your computer now. That's the first step and the first piece of software. Okay, the actual SDS Dash software is in a USB thumb drive included with your kit. You just uh, insert the USB drive into your computer. And here's the file here you want, SDS Dash. We're just going to drag that over right onto the desktop. And the other file is a DLL file. We're going to drag that onto the desktop too. And you can just close the USB. And these are all ready to go. Just uh, double click. And there's your gauge package open. That's all there is to it. Okay, now that you've got your SDS dash loaded to your uh, laptop, and show you how to connect the uh, EM5 and uh, start using your data logging. So here we have an EM5 computer and the data logging cable here. One end is USB, so you can plug the USB in into your laptop and the uh, this end of the cable goes into the port here. Next step is to open SDS Dash. We're just going to Double click on the torch icon here. That opens up the uh, gauge function here. Next step is to power up the ECU. I'm just going to do that with a battery on the bench here. Okay, ECU is powered up. And we're going to go to the uh, upper left corner here, to a box called uh, Open COM Port. We're going to click on that, and when we do, we should see down in the uh, lower right hand corner here, uh, Receive Data. That should change from blank to green. So I'm just going to click the uh, Open COM Port here. And we can see everything's active now, and this has changed to green down here. And I'm just going to cover a few things on the uh, gauge mode here. Uh, upper left here, close COM port, that's the opposite of open the COM port which we just used. If you want to disconnect the uh, ECU from your laptop you can click that. You can also just pause the data stream or resume it here as the case may be. A little more over to the right here we have uh, data interval. It's defaulted to 45 milliseconds. Uh, that's approximately 22 samples per second. We usually find that's uh, fine enough to capture almost any detail you'd want. And to the right of that we have fetch values from the ECU. 
And if we click on that, we can go over to File here in the upper left and uh, print those values if you want. And uh, we'll just go over a few things on the uh, gauge mode here in case it's not obvious. We've got uh, RPM here, air fuel ratio here, which is O2, uh, manifold pressure, ignition, throttle position here, and uh, knock retard here. Also have numerical values for uh, O2 sensor here, and uh, manifold pressure here, engine temperature, air temperature, mixture knob position, check engine light whether it's on or off, injector pulse width, injector duty cycle, battery voltage, and the version of software your SDS has. And down here we have the options and these will all illuminate if they're active. And upper left here again, we're in the gauge mode right now which is here. And we have the log chart to the right. If we click on that this gives us our data logging chart here where you have all the uh, squiggly lines for all eight parameters. Right now it's just blank. This computer is just uh, powered up on the bench. It's not uh, generating or doing anything. Uh, next thing we can choose from here is to log text. This uh, is a very high data rate text file. It looks at every single parameter and uh, gives you a different way of looking at the data. A lot of people may not uh, understand exactly how to use that, but uh, we can show you a little bit here. Um, we've got a button here called Enabled uh, SDS Text Logging. I'll just click on that and you'll see the data stream coming out of the computer there. And we can just uh, click that off to stop it here. Um, you can copy this text to the clipboard. Uh, to the right here you can uh, clear the text window if you want to start over, you just click on that, it erases it. Um, you can also display uh, the values that are currently in the computer here. Here's the fuel values and ignition values, air temp values, and uh, you can get all that together when you print it in the printed format like I showed you earlier. It prints everything on the, t on the uh, whole SDS map here in a uh, pretty nice format. So if we go back to uh, the gauge mode here, this is uh, kind of interesting, but I guess what you'd normally use for data logging is probably the log chart here. And I'm going to show you a chart we downloaded from our shop car here. I'm just going to show you how to manipulate that data. We'll uh, load up a, a map here and show you how to do that. Okay, we're ready to uh, look at an actual data log file here. I've got something from our uh, 240SX turbo shop car. And uh, we're just going to go to the, uh, we've expanded the screen here so you can see it a little better. I'm going to go to the uh, open log file. Click on that. And we're going to find the uh, log file for the 240SX. Here it is here. They're always dot. SDL files. We're going to open that. And here we have uh, data log just uh, running in the shop here. So all the, uh, each line has a color and here's your uh, color key up here. RPM is red, air fuel is green and so on here. And uh, one thing that's nice if you're just interested in some of the stuff, you can go to the check boxes here and if we don't want to, if we're not interested in knock, we can remove that. Air temp, maybe not so important. Uh, throttle angle, we're going to take that out too. And uh, take the injector duty cycle out too. You can see we can clean up. Now we're just displaying RPM, air fuel ratio, and map. Those are maybe some of the primary interests, but uh, by having a little less clutter, you can see things a little bit better. You can see the cursor line here. We can drag this anywhere we want. Let's say we want to dry, drag it over these peaks here. When we do that, uh, you can see down here in the uh, 
bottom of the screen here displays exact numerical values for anywhere you pull that cursor. So you can move it laterally and see exactly what you had here. So you can see numbers change here as I drag the cursor over. We can look at uh, whatever we want here. If we decide we want to look at something we turned off, we can just click it back on here and uh, we can see everything if you want here. So everything, all 10 parameters there are uh, shown and uh, you can look at anything you want at any time interval here. It's quite nice. We also have, uh, we can scroll the maps here. You go up to the top here and move the x-axis. We can scroll that and go all the way down. You can also zoom in and out here if you want to see more detail. And you've got boxes here to uh, save this log file. When you click on that, it'll open a box. You can save as any uh, file name you want, as long as you put .sdl behind it. You can erase the log chart here. I don't want to do that right now. But that's uh, basically what uh, you can do with all this. So you do your data logging run, stop the car. You can look and see exactly what your air fuel ratio was, ignition timing, everything there. Make your corrections. You can go up here and uh, reprogram the SDS and you can print what your new values would be and you can say this is going to be run 2, here's what the values were, write that down in your sheet so you have a complete uh, record of what you're doing there. And uh, next we're just going to show a couple of active files, what it really looks like while you're actively data logging in the car and uh, you probably find that a little more interesting. This is a little bit dry, but this is what you have to know to use it.